Hello all, Estimation, welcome back to more Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. In the last episode, we cleared up the last three levels of Grape Garden, and now it's time to fight the fourth boss of the game. So, let's do this. And ah uh, yes, it's one of the most iconic Kirby bosses of all time. Meet Krako Jr. So for the first phase of the boss fight, he wants us to chase him up the little cloud tower he has, I suppose. Thankfully, they give you plenty of high jump powers to use. So this isn't too long of a process. And since we're in a sky-based world, I don't really think this was too surprising for anyone. And now we're on the battlefield. Krako Jr. becomes Krako. Krako is sort of an electric cloud mini-boss, or boss, I'm sorry. Don't want to insult your bosslyhood there, Krako. He loops around and occasionally does these little lightning splatters. He can also drop enemies out of himself, such as the high jump enemies, and I think he spits out beam what'll do's in other Kirby games. And that's all. That's a, that's it for Krako in this game, at least. I know in other Kirby games he could be a real pain. I remember specifically in Squeak Squad he was. Oh god, he was painful. And Kirby's found himself a maximum tomato, and it's going down the hill. So welcome to Yogurt Yard. Again, the claustrophobic starting rooms. And apparently, we haven't quite gotten our daily dose of clouds yet after the last world. So here we are in Clouds Part 2. And I think this is actually the longest I've ever kept a high jump power so far this Let's Play. I always seem to lose those things. And I see a door down there. How am I meant to get to that? Aha. Oh, run from the cannonball. Er, yeah, that didn't go too well. Yeah, that's kind of tight quarters left to fly in. Let's see if uh, going down here will do any better. Eh, not quite, but I can get in here now. And that was for a one-up. And now I'm falling. Okay. Don't want to land on any of you guys. Just coming through. Coming down here. Can I have any food? And those cannons don't touch me. Yep. Yeah, for the last episode, I'm kind of done with dying. Alright. That was kind of close. So, let's get freeze here. So much ice is going on the screen. And they will have... Surprisingly, no, I thought they were going to have, like, a healing item at the end of one of those, but never mind. one up. <clears throat> Alright, don't lock any extra rooms. Yes, I unlock the museum for this world, so what's in here? Stone and tornado. Just gonna casually freeze and then destroy the museum's property, don't mind me. That is kind of a useful museum. Anywhere where I can get tornado power for free is a nice place. Especially considering the enemies you have to eat to get those powers are kind of spastic in their movements. Okay, can I freeze you before you have a chance to teleport? Also, I don't know if I've shown this off yet, but let me just kill this. Actually, I'll let you live. If you're flying Kirby and you go in water, you kind of bobble like a beach ball would. That's kind of cute and nice attention to detail there as far as real life physics go. But this is a Kirby game, so I'm gonna have to break those physics at some point. And sneaky coconuts, they're trying to explode from off screen. He thought I wouldn't see you. And now I have a pink spark in me. We've seen him in green, blue, and pink. Those guys just love being spray painted, apparently. And again, if RPG logic follows, a palette swap of an already palette swapped enemy. That must have been like final stage level dying powers stuff. Nah. Oh, whatever, I've used Spark in a while, and it's pretty much the exact same as Freeze. So I didn't lose too much there. And hi, Bonkers. 
I can actually fight you with power this time. Or, no, I can't. Whatever. And give me, pa give me my favorite power. Hammer. Because, yes, in case I didn't mention it at the end of or the first episode where I got hammered, this is my favorite group power of all time. Just something so pleasing about smashing the skulls of enemies with a massive hammer. You have to try it out for yourself, really. And there's level 3, the level progression in this world is kind of weird. We went from here to here to down here. Oh, we also have a racing mini gameplay. So why not? I'm also pretty sure as the worlds progress, the minigame, well, the AI for the other Kirby's in the minigames also gets higher. Because, yeah, red is doing a really good job of staying up front there. How are you? Oh, it's so close, and red just happened to win. Yeah, the AI is definitely being improved. And so, for coming second, we get two one-ups. And on to level three. High jump enemy, they know you want you- they know you- you know the game wants you to take it if they give it to you. And yeah, I can imagine how painful this place would be without high jump. Having the cannons constantly fire at you... not fun. Okay. And now we appear to be in a forest. But it's a great forest, and it's not a very cheery-looking place. I'm gonna lose high jump for wheel here, because I'm feeling, just just by judging on the terrain here, it's probably gonna be a bit better to have wheel. And I was right. Though, jumping across bottomless pits with wheel, not exactly something that makes me feel entirely safe, and I forgot it protected you from the bikes. Ah, I'm an idiot. Kirby, you didn't tell me you could walk on air. Why are you even keeping the secret from me? It would have helped so long ago. Let's try it out now. Yeah, if two blocks are stationed about one block apart from each other, then you can just seamlessly run across them. It's like that in a lot of platform games, actually. I'm not really too sure why. And I managed to successfully hug every single spike that was down there. Thankfully gave me some medicine at the end there. That could have ended badly. And alright, we've made ourselves a nice foothold in this area, and that is kind of mean. They show you the area, but it's blocked off still. And there's also water down here for some reason, and the waterfalls aren't moving. Time must be frozen. Let's go all Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2 Explorers of Time and Darkness on this. Anyway, completely off topic, the topic there. Next time on Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, we're progressing on level 4 and hopefully getting to that place, because that's just mean, mean tease. So I'll see you guys then.